Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video, I'm going to sit down and do kind of a get unready with me chit chat video while trying out some new skincare. I had lots of goodies sent to me from Elemis. I'm so happy to have a chance to try this, and especially this one. It's special edition for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And they sent some other goodies like a cleansing balm that I've never tried before. I'm actually really excited to give this a trial because so many of you have recommended this to me. So, so happy to finally get a chance to try it. And I've got a couple other items from Elemis. Something for eyes. We'll just, we're going to get into that in a minute. Um, but really quickly, I do have this crazy makeup on because today was a BCN session Zoom meeting with makeup artist Alex and we did a Euphoria inspired skull makeup look. And this is a look that I was able to come up with today. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here in just a second. But that's just to kind of let you know what's going to be discussed in today's video. Because I do have some feedback about that class as well. If you attended that Zoom meeting, you may already know what I'm going to talk about. But yeah, before we get into it, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Wolf Pack today. Now let's get into it. Alright, so before we get into actually taking off all this makeup, let me just talk to you a little bit, just really quickly, what I actually used to create this look today. Obviously, the gemstones are the things that stand out the most in this look, and it's because when it comes to doing the teeth on a skull, I'm so bad at it, so I was kind of hoping that if I just stick these, especially these here, they're the prettiest, but if I kind of put those in place, maybe it kind of, you can't really notice what I did as far as a shadow around my teeth. But what I used for the actual jewels, I got these from Michaels. I cannot remember what the what the price was on these. And I also got these little stick little stickers here that I used for this part of the makeup. And these little runs, oh, I already pulled one off. Yeah, these aren't going to last you forever. But I just put these on here basically just to balance out the teeth that I did. Because it felt kind of weird with a completely bare, or not bare, but just regular makeup on this side. And then extreme makeup on this side. I used mostly the purple from this palette. And this is the Manny MUA Life's to Drag. The white I did around here just to do a little bit of highlighting. And the black was a lot of the shading. And the purple is the majority of the shading that you see on here. And then for the actual eye look, and for this eye as well, I used the Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. I think the BC and Session class is really, really good. It was supposed to be an hour and a half long, but ended up being like almost two and a half hours. It was a long class. I don't know if you were in the session or not, you know, people who are watching this video. He was talking about you make a C here, make a C here, do a C this way, do a C that way. And whenever he was doing it, he was kind of looking straight ahead. And it was so hard to see, like he never actually turned to the side and just stayed there for a second. That way you could get a good look at what he was doing. I think some people were getting aggravated, but for the majority, people were being really, really awesome in the class, um, trying their best. <laughs> and I've gone on to Instagram and I've actually seen people already posting a lot of photos of their before and afters and it looks stunning. If you're curious to see looks that other people have done, I'm gonna put those on the screen here for you. I think everyone is so talented and everyone had fun with it and they all have their own special take on the makeup look. I just love these type of events. I think it's so much fun. All right, so most of the skincare that I'm gonna be using in this video is gonna be Elemis. They were so nice and sent me several things to try out and I've not had a chance to really experience Elemis outside of what I've gotten from BoxyCharm. So it's, this is going to be fun. And this I got in a PR box from One Size. No, it wasn't PR directly from them. It was something that I got from Sephora and I was able to get the headband in it. Like that was the only reason why I used my points to get that set because I wanted the headband. So first step is going to be to remove the gemstones. And I'm actually so sad to do this because I enjoyed them and I really like the way this part turned out and I know I just take half of it off but because I had to balance out this part this actually turned out pretty cool and I wouldn't mind like on a regular day just do a few of them but it turned out really cute and I think that's a little bit more of the euphoria thing. Like the makeup that he was doing today the only the thing that really felt euphoria like was all of the purple he used. He did the majority of the look using only one purple shade because he would go super super heavy here and then he would just blend it out so far and he was so light handed with it with the shading. He's had a lot of practice and he is a working makeup artist. So ah first one down. <laughs> I knew it'd pop off eventually. 
but the other thing is he had us doing like highlighting and contouring with purple so we would do this part and then go back over it with a bronzer or a contour brush like this he would have you do this number after you already did everything to kind of make it look like you've already done makeup on top of this I don't know but euphoria whenever I'm thinking of that I'm thinking of all of the diamonds the the glitter the shimmeriness this I think made it a little bit closer but what he actually did in the class didn't really feel like it <laughs> are you being cute Devin I love you He's over here dancing like an idiot, but I love him for it. They had a list of products that you're supposed to use, including these two palettes. Like they were specified on the list, but they it was a general thing like you need a foundation, a concealer, a setting powder. I can't remember exactly what all that they required you to bring, but there was a few things that you had to have and the things that they said he would be using in addition to a bunch of MAC products. Um, he didn't use any of the products that were listed. <laughs> He used some of the Luxie brushes. He did not use any of the purples from these palettes. He didn't even touch this one till it came to him actually doing the eyeshadow look. But he was using a different Lunar Beauty palette. It was the, oh, uh, I don't want to say witchcraft. I can't think of what it is, but it looks like a spell book. He used that palette. And I'm like, that wasn't on the list. You know, that's not fair. <laughs> And Johnny was actually there. He was the one from the Box of Charm team that was hosting it with Alex. And he did a beautiful job on his makeup. Uh, he's very, very talented. I like Johnny. He's a little cutie pie. But you see what I mean? The whole look without the jewels, like, I guess this would have been fun, but I just didn't like it. I wasn't, this wasn't my best work, but I had fun playing with it. Um, I was kind of trying to follow along with him, but it was hard to follow because some of the stuff went really, really fast, but yet it was kind of slow. I think he spent the most of his time on shading rather than like mapping. I wish that he had spent a little bit more time on that because I think that's where I need the most help. Ooh, and now the lashes. And he also said that whenever you're doing um, Halloween looks, even if you're using makeup and not like Halloween makeup, he put a lot of emphasis on prepping the skin. He used the MAC strobe cream and then he spritzed with setting spray and then like he did a lot to actually prep his skin. He wanted to make sure that it was hydrated and that was going to be comfortable under all of the heavy makeup you're going to be putting on. And that again is something that I hadn't thought of before and I'm very glad that he said that. I will definitely remember that moving forward. All right, so the first thing that we're going to try from Elemis, this is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is a super cleansing treatment balm for fine lines and wrinkles, um, which I do have, and maybe some not so fine. <laughs> but this one, it says that it has three different, or it turns into three different textures. Okay. Um, first is the cleansing balm, which that was a given, but then it turns into a cleansing oil and then hydrates as a cleansing milk. And they have a tip that you can use this as a hydrating mask. Leave it on for 10 minutes. Now, I don't know any cleansing balm that you can do that with. So, that, I, I need to try that. So, enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and dive into it. And that is very strong eucalyptus. Like, I remember when I was opening up the package of this. They were in a box. Half of them were wrapped up in a plastic bag in the box. And, like, as soon as you open up the package, the whole box smelled like eucalyptus. So, this is going to be a good test to see how well this actually does to remove makeup. And I don't know how much of this you're actually supposed to use. It feels very moisturizing. And we're just going to go for the eyes. Whoa. Well, I mean, if you're ever one to see a test of how this actually works, I think we definitely have it. Oh, I know why this isn't wanting to come off. It's because it's lash glue. Okay. All right, so I know what that is, so I can take care of that here in just a second. And they also included a Elemis washcloth to help remove the cleansing balm. And I didn't take the cleansing balm into my hairline. I should have done that. Where I was having to get into my hairline to get that purple out, I shoved my headband off. But that did such a good job. I got all of that makeup gone. Hmm. That feels really nice. 
Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of the makeup, while it gets rid of everything on the surface of the skin, I still want to get the full benefit of a completely cleansed face before going to the next steps of my skincare line so that they absorb deeper and just work better in general. So the next thing that we have for my second cleanser, we have the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. This is a skin energizing cleanser. I like the sound of that. And I love the packaging on this. I think it's so pretty. Like this color teal, I just, it makes my heart happy. Like it matches my, well you can't see it, hold on. Yeah, it almost matches my little skincare fridge back there. I've had a few people ask me about that and I'm so sorry I haven't mentioned it before, but I finally started keeping some of my skincare in a little mini fridge up here because it got so hot this summer and it was just so nice, especially the, like the spray mist. It felt so good whenever you pull that out to spray and it just, it was perfect for the summer. I wouldn't have made it through it without it. So to use, you're going to massage into damp skin with fingertips, add warm water to create a lather and then rinse off. So I don't actually have a sink here, so I won't be doing warm water. I'm going to try it with the Evian spray, but if it doesn't do as well, I'll definitely make sure I go in with warm water next time. Oh, I like the component. Hmm. This one has a different smell from the cleansing balm. Like this one smells a lot fresher. I think I love the smell of this one a lot better than the eucalyptus, and I love eucalyptus. This one just smells fresh. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera for a second. I'm going to rinse this off my face, and we'll be right back. So in addition to the cleansing balm and the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser, they also sent me a makeup remover. This is the White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. Now, I didn't get a chance to use this because I forgot about it. Um, I wanted to really, really use the cleansing balm, so that's why I didn't really go in with this. But I will definitely give this a try in an upcoming video to see how this does. Alright, so the next thing that we have to try out is this little guy here. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. Now, I was reading the directions on this, and it definitely caught my attention. It says that you can apply a thin layer to your eye contour, leave it on overnight to absorb, or you can layer it under your makeup or over your makeup. I don't think I've heard of an eye mask that you can put on top of your makeup. So it's definitely piqued my curiosity. I'm not going to dip into this because so much came out on the little cap here. So I'm just going to take what's on there. I don't know how I would do for something like over your makeup. I, I'm, I'm not that brave yet in my skincare or makeup for that matter. And it definitely, it's super, super hydrating but it's um it's almost like a heavy gel like it's got a weird consistency but i definitely don't see myself ever putting this over top of my makeup and there's not really much of a scent with this either that i'm picking up i think maybe if there is i'm just not able to smell it as well because of the eucalyptus where it was so strong but personally i love the smell of eucalyptus so i don't mind but that does feel very hydrating but i can definitely see with it being like an overnight sleeping mask, I think I would use it more for something like that because it feels really, really heavy. I don't see me ever wearing this over my makeup or probably even under my makeup. All right, so the last thing that we have to try out for skincare, this is the limited edition Super Size Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's an anti-wrinkle day cream. We've gotten a few things from Illness, like I said, in Boxy Charm, but I believe the first thing that we ever got, it was this moisturizer. And I know so many charmers went nuts for it. I remember all of the, the Facebook groups, people were trying to buy up multiples of it because everyone was loving it so much. Like, Elemis is always a big hit with Boxy Charm. But I do love that they came out with this limited edition super size and special packaging for the month of October because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. A portion of the sales are going to go to breast cancer research. Um, they say on the back here, 10 pounds of the purchase will go to breast cancer now regardless of the sales, no matter how many of these they end up selling, um, they guarantee to give a minimum of 30,000 pounds to Breast Cancer Now and $25,000 to the Pink Agenda. And I want to make sure I read that out there because they mention the Pink Agenda here, but they don't mention the Breast Cancer Now in that flyer. The key benefits of this is that's going to firm your skin, soothe and hydrate, which we all need that. And this is actually their number one best-selling anti-wrinkle day cream. The packaging on here, I love the style that they did this. It kind of makes it more of a keepsake piece or more of a collection piece, something you would want to put on display. But in addition to 
the packaging is pink also for breast cancer awareness. I just really like the whole design of this and I know it's going to take me a long time to go through this because there's a lot of product in here. This retails for $200 but it has a $256 value so if you've been really enjoying this this is especially a great time to stock up on it. So while I'm applying this and gosh it feels so good if you have combination skin or really any skin top this one is really good. Um, I love wearing this under my makeup. It doesn't give me any issues whatsoever. Um, but, okay, so in addition to the BCN session today, um, I went to get gas in my car because it was completely out. And you know how if you have a car that somebody likes, you know, the question is like, hey, what type of car is this? You know, um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not really much of a car person. But I had somebody ask me today if my car was in season. That is the weirdest thing to say to somebody. And it didn't occur to me till afterwards, after I already drove away because I was only in town just for a second and then I came back. Um, my car is orange. It's like a, it's like orange with a shimmer. So I, I think it's more copper or like a sunset orange, but with it being orange, I'm guessing they thought maybe it was pumpkin colored. You know, why not? You know, we have pumpkin, everything else in the world. Why not a pumpkin car? <laughs> that I thought was just so funny. Ah, oh, that, oh, I love the way this feels. So a couple other things I just kind of want to talk about. It's not really so much of a life update, but I have had a couple of people saying, like, Elizabeth, you seem like you're a little bit down in your videos. Is everything okay? And everything is okay. I've been really feeling under the weather, and it feels like it's been happening for two weeks now, if, like, if not three weeks. And I'm just, I don't know, it's just kind of taken my energy out, and I've just not really been feeling well. Um... So I guess it's kind of part of it and I guess people can pick up on that. I'm not really one that can, I can't really fake the way I'm feeling. Most of the time if I'm feeling bad or if I'm feeling something, you're, you're going to be able to tell on camera. But another thing that I just found out is that my dad might have to go back in the hospital. Um, his uh, blood levels are off again and he's having some issues with his stomach. So um, just keep him in your prayers. Tomorrow we should be getting the test results back on him and hopefully everything's okay and he doesn't have to go in the hospital it's something he can just take care of at home but we're just kind of it's kind of a wait and see situation at the moment but yeah guys that's just a little quick just a little you know real talk i talk to you guys so often about things that are going on with boxy charm but i want to let you know about the real things that's going on with my life as well i don't always talk about everything because there's some things that i'm still working through or you know there's just some things you prefer to keep private but anytime that it's okay with family to talk about, there's a lot of changes going on. But anytime that something is okay to discuss, I will definitely do that with you guys. And I plan on having more live videos soon because I think that's where I get a bigger opportunity to share those kind of moments. And if someone else is having something they're going through, you know, we kind of have a conversation about it. So just be on the lookout for those. I still have a bad camera. It, that makes me look green for some reason. I think it's all Logitech cameras. I always look green in every single one of them. Even like the $200 camera. There's something up with that. But I will try to have those go on as soon as possible because I honestly do miss doing them and I haven't had one in a long time. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for taking time to hang out and do a little chit chat, trying out some new skincare. Overall, I actually really like everything. This one... I love that it didn't strip the moisture out of my skin, but that could also be because of the cleansing balm. The cleansing balm, it did really, really good the whole before and after on the makeup. And even where I had it spread, like where it had kind of melted all the makeup and my whole face was pink or purple, I was honestly a little bit afraid that that wasn't going to go away. But it did, and my skin just feels perfect. Like, so hydrated. It feels so smooth right now. Soothed. That's a better word for it. It feels very soothed at the moment. But yeah, guys, I'm going to call it a night, and I will keep you guys updated on my dad. I may not talk about it in another video, but I will make sure I at least make a community post about it. If you're subscribed to me, that'll come up automatically in your subscription feed. And also, if you want to make sure you're up to date on every video that I upload, make sure you have notification bell turned on. And again, thank you to Elemis for sending me these goodies to try out. I just, you don't know how much I appreciate it. And yeah. I love you all. I hope you're having a great day, a great night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.